Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. See, here's the problem that the opposition have with this RMA uh, reform bill in its second reading, is that Labor and New Zealand First and the Greens will say that they want economic development. Oh, that's Mr Mallard. That's Mr Trevor Mallard, the anger management problem member of this House who just can't help himself. No, just loses his rag at every opportunity. OK, so, Mr Speaker, the problem that Labor and the Greens and New Zealand First have with this bill is that, on the one hand, they say they want to tackle the housing problem in Auckland. They say they want to tackle economic development. They say that they want to protect the environment, and yet here they all are, to a man, to a party, opposing that very piece of legislation which this government is promoting, which will do just that. It is deeply ironic. Mr Speaker, that the member for the Greens will flail against the statutory um, uh, taking over of ECAN and put it in the hands of the commissioners so that they at least will get on and do their statutory duties, which ECAN failed to do under the time when that member was one of the elected representatives of that of, of ECAN. Now, Mr Speaker, this is a government which gets on and does things. And this resource management reform bill does exactly that. I'm just going to talk a little bit about six-month consenting. And th this is for medium-sized projects, those very projects that we are needing in Auckland, that we are needing in the big cities around New Zealand, that Labour and the Greens and New Zealand First are so fond of saying that we really, really need. Well, this is the mechanism that is going to make that consenting much more efficient. And underlining the six-month consenting process is a requirement on all parts, on both the council receiving the submission and the developers somehow under the, under the hands of New Zealand First. The developer is a, is, is a dirty word. Well, not under this government, actually, because, thank you, because it is the developers in New Zealand which get things going. But under the provisions in this bill, those developers, those good people who get things done, build houses, build supermarkets, build infrastructure, will be required to put in really decent robust applications. It's a win-win. I support it to the House. Well, Phil Twyford. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Labor